Hello, Marvelites. Welcome to This Week in Marvel. I'm Ryan, a.k.a. Agent M. And I'm Jamie, a.k.a. Agent Uncanny. And we've got with us Agent Matt Rosenberg. I'm not an agent. Oh, dang it, Matt. You Sorry. are today. Oh, okay. You Thank are you. today. But he is one of the co-writers of Uncanny X-Men, along with Ed Brisson and Kelly Thompson, first issue of which is out right now, and it's very exciting. Uh, but we brought you here to Marvel headquarters, Matt, in order to talk about X-Men and sort of give a primer on all things X, particularly for Uncanny X-Men. Um, so maybe what are uh, a couple things people need to know about the X-Men? What's, what's one thing so far? I, you know, I think the first thing that, that people need to understand what separates the X-Men from all the other superhero teams is the, just the sense of family. I think there's a real community. There's a literal family. There's a lot of X-Men who are related. They work in this very familial way, in a way that other superhero teams don't. And I, I think that is a connection that a lot of people have to them, is like, you can see your own family in them. They're sort of an idealized family. They're a found family. You know, the drama and the love and the fighting that comes with that, but it's it's uh, they're unique in that way. And it's, I think, one of the strong suits of the X-Men. It's a really good point, because the X-Men families are really what makes them so relatable. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I think another another thing that, I really love about the X-Men and that we're trying to really cover in the book is the scale and the scope of what the X-Men can be. They go from, you know, small and personal and intimate. There's, you know, relationship stories and there's familial drama to this big cataclysmic world ending universe shaking things. And and we're trying to cram all that in. I think every good X-Men story has both. And so we're we're really trying to make this something that if you want to see the classic X-Men soap opera, the love affairs and the the hatreds and the feuds, like that's all in in uncanny and the book is about maybe the end of the world. Uh so that's there too. Light stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. The, that fun stuff. Yeah. I think one of my first issues of Uncanny X-Men was right after Days of Future Past. It was the last Claremont Burn issue, and it's Kitty versus the, the Nagari. And it's a small story, but it was also the biggest thing in her universe. Yeah. And that's what, you know, like just what you were talking about. That's what I love about the X-Men. Yeah. I mean, I, I think a big thing for the X-Men is they're just relatable and we see ourselves in them and, and like... We all have our favorite X-Men. We all have the characters we love. And, you know, there's the Cyclops fans and the Emma Frost fans and the Gene fans and the Wolverine fans. But, like, Maggot and, and Jamie Madrox and, you know, for me, Havoc and Magic are my, my two favorite X-Men. And, and you want to give them time to shine, but also to have these real moments, these honest moments. And that's why they're people's favorite. And so we're trying to cram as much of that in. Um, if you have a, a favorite X-Man, I can't guarantee they're going to have a big moment, but <laughs> but we try to give as many of them as we can a, a real thing to grab onto. So I love that. Uh, the third thing there being that there's something for everyone in Uncanny X-Men, which is wonderful. Yeah, something for every single person. Yeah, you hear that? There's something for you and you. And yeah. Even you. Even you. Yes. But if you want to learn more about Uncanny X-Men, you got to check out This Week in Marvel where I talk with Matt, Ed, and Kelly, and a brand new issue of Uncanny X-Men is going to come out weekly for a while. It's pretty great. I'm excited. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. You're writing Uncanny X-Men, Matt. I know. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. All right. Check out This Week in Marvel wherever you get your podcasts, and we'll be back with more soon. I'm Ryan. And I'm Jamie. And this is Marvel. Your universe. And that's Matt.